Hey y'all, what's up? Eric with East Texas Homestead. I got Buddy here. We are working out in the barn. And as you can see, it's gonna have to do with the, the solar setup. I'm gonna flip around over here and show you what we're working on. So, if you've seen any of the past videos, you've already seen this set up pretty well. What we're gonna do is, this was a temporary setup on this temporary location. We're actually gonna move to a new spot in the barn. Uh, plans are always changing, but uh, let me show you what we're going to do because basically we've run out of space over here and we need to add a third inverter because we're maxing this out, which was always the plan. And I'm going to go this way. All right, so what we're going to do is move over to this wall. So this is the opposite corner, which is actually closer to the house, which means we're closer. We don't have to use as much wire. And you can see I've got my third inverter already sitting here. So then we'll put the inverter two here and inverter one here. We'll put the batteries here. And then I've got a much larger, it's a 125 amp panel. Probably should have gone with the 200 amp, but you know, that, that's where we're at. So we're gonna go ahead and utilize that one. And then uh, we'll just kind of build it all out from here. But I just wanted to show you right now where we're at and kind of what we're starting with. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll cut back. I'll, I'll probably add some information as we go along the process or at least give you a, a final detail of where we're at. And here's the new setup. Looks good, doesn't it? Man, it feels nice to have it over here. Everything side by side. Got all of these inverters doing what inverters do. You can see these two are on. That one's off. I'll explain that in a minute. I've got a little more work to do. So one of the deals is uh, I'm gonna actually put a second panel just like this right here. This one just doesn't have the space. The main reason, so you may wanna take this into consideration if you, um, if you get a small panel, is you, you need to be able to, this is my AC out, actually what is this? This is my AC in panel. So in order to charge these, you have to have um, 240 volts going into the inverters. You can see we've got AC in input and our AC output. So my in is going right now through these uh, flexible conduits and then my out is going um, through these um, other wires here. So the reason this doesn't work is because these two are on the same bus bar and so they're both in the same um, phase, I guess it is. Um, I've got 110 and 110 that are alternating and they're, they're current, um, or 120 and 120 rather, so to make my 240, um, but I can't do it here. Um, so uh, if I connect these two together, basically what I'm trying to say is I would just still just have 120 volts. I would not have 240 like I can do when I connect these two or these two. So I need to put another in over here. All right, so what's going on with the rest of the setup? Let me explain what I've got. Um, I've got the batteries here and they all come back over and connect. Each one goes through its own circuit breaker and then in, and then this one's got its circuit breaker. And this one, I don't have the box for it. So I've tried to tape up anything that could be dangerous. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and evo eventually get a box for it. Um, you know what? Let me turn let me turn this off to make it less noisy in the background. Um, and actually, you'll see this as I flip this guy off. Um, you'll hear him beep. That lovely, lovely noise. <clears throat> All right. Eventually, they're going to turn off as they go through their, their shutdown stage. Um, the reason they are on is because they have AC into them at the, at the moment. So this definitely not the ideal way of doing it, but what I've got going on right now is, uh, and, and this is going to change very soon. So, um, I'll, in the next video, I'll show you how and why we're changing it. Not really the why, but um, so I've got this one, one line right here, and that is going to the house. And for those of you who don't 
haven't watched some of my previous videos, um, what happens, let me jump around over here, just so you're not just looking at the same thing. So the, the way that I've got my setup going on, just the real quick version of it is I've got my power pole and then it goes, takes AC power to the house. So from the grid to the house, and then from the grid or from the house, I've got a hundred amp breaker that then comes out through this line over here. Okay, um, that charges my batteries from the grid. Whenever I want to charge the house and get off grid, I turn off my main breaker at the meter pole, uh, and then I turn <laughs> this guy here off, which feeds this panel, which then feeds these guys the AC in, and then I flip these three on, and that takes the power back to the house. Okay, so that's not the ideal way of doing it, but that is the way that I'm doing it um, right now. But like I said, that's all gonna change. So that's where this 50 amp uh, breaker here actually goes through this loop right here, and then back into this panel and once it gets into this panel, then it feeds my AC in. All right, so that's the, the power coming in. And all of this is gonna be in conduit, and don't worry about it, all right, got it. Okay, um, so that's, that's that. Um, the next thing that I've got going on is, um, if for some reason, actually what I, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a long story. But the charge verter um, can actually charge the batteries as well from this panel right here um, because this is wired in, I believe, to this guy right here. I don't use it, not planning on using it. Um, but he's wired in, and then the charge verter is um, plugged into this receptacle. Now, this receptacle is going to get moved back down and. Um, what's gonna ultimately happen is I'm gonna go to the other side of this. Instead of having these multicolored cables, where is it? I've got, sorry, look at my messy barn here. I've completely destroyed my barn. This guy is gonna be plugged into that receptacle on the other end. So this can go to my generator. This will go to the receptacle box which will probably be maybe over here somewhere. And then that'll plug into it. Um, and then from there, I'll actually be able to run the generator to the charge verter and charge these guys at five kilowatts from a dirty generator. All right, so whew, there's that. Um, so, man, what else do we have going on here? Oh, then we've got the, the PVN. We got PV coming in here, and right now it's going up here, and it's going back around. It's going to some some solar panels that are outside the house. All that's about to change. I'm actually going to have them poking through the wall here, doing it legitimately, um, poking through here, and then I'm going to put another one over here. I don't have an array on this one at the moment. I'm definitely still not maximizing my solar capabilities. I still have two full pallets two and a half pallets of panels that I haven't even touched. So right now what's happening is primarily is I'm simply charging at night and utilizing my 30 kilowatt hours of storage during the day. Uh, plus uh, uh, it's right now it's towards the end of October and I'm getting, I don't know, seven kilowatts of, of solar a day. It's pretty pitiful with the, the few panels I've got out there. Um, so that's, that's where we're at right now. Um, what else do I have going on? Um, right here, I've got solar assistant, which I can't go any farther because this cable, uh, is, is maxed out. I might maybe move some stuff around. Actually, you know what? I think if I used this cable, I'd have a little bit more. Re anyway, I want to get it to where it's not just sitting right there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the setup. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about it. Uh, in the next video, what I'm going to talk about is um, how I'm going to transition to actually having a legitimate setup here where I've got 
240 volts coming from the power pole to this box, which I'm going to swap this box out tomorrow morning, assuming all goes well. I'm going to go buy about 80, yeah, about 80 feet of um, a four aught cable <laughs> and another box here, and I'm going to put it all together, splice it in. I'm actually going to bring my AC in. Uh, I'm probably going to come up this wall and come out right here and then go into these guys. That's, um, I think that's what's going to end up happening. But who knows? A lot can change. All of this wasn't even supposed to be in this barn. I was supposed to have it all up at the, the shed. Remember, if y'all are following along, remember it was like it was going to be a, a solar shed or something like that? I haven't done that. Uh, this setup has changed like 700 times. Um, which I'm kind of glad I've gone slow because the slower I've gone, the better it's planned out. Like I, I keep planning it out, but then I'm like, Hey, you know what? I could actually make this better. And so that's, that's what I've been doing and I like it. So in the meantime, my barn is completely destroyed. Um, can't hardly walk in here, but I've got power dedicated in here. And instead of running an extension cord to the barn to power the barn, now the barn is powered um right now kind of haphazardly through this wire that goes over there and um i've got my starlink and um one of my node routers um from linksys right there so um by the way having i love the newer technology being able to have a mesh network so when i go from the barn i walk into the house it seamlessly transitions me to that wi-fi instead of the barns which is great little plug for the Linksys um, router there. I don't remember what it's called, but um, Starlink's still doing great. Um, the batteries, um, they've been, been rock stars. You can see a couple of them have an alarm because I just hit 20%. So I flipped back over and um, actually, you know what? In four minutes, it's going to switch over and actually start charging. So I'll show you all that. Um, let me turn this back on and let's see, because it's terrifying. It is absolutely terrifying to stand here. Gosh, these things are loud. So when the AC kicks in, um, it makes me jump every time. Let's see if it, I'm not sure if it's going to, yeah, I don't think it actually makes the noise until it starts charging. Um, but they've got um, they've got it set in so that like whenever that AC kicks on, it like makes this noise, and it's just it's absolutely horrific. Um, a lot of power going through there. Um, the cool thing is you can have it set at least the way we've got it right here, so that um, let's see. Actually, let me go this way. I can tell it to start charging. I'm trying to find it. They, I might have passed it up. I don't remember. I've, I haven't done this in a while, so yeah, I, I, I missed it. I can't can't remember where the the um I can't remember where the setting is. It's in the manual, um, but you can set it so that it'll actually start charging at a specific time. Stop charging at a specific time. Um, while we're waiting for that to happen, one of the cool things is like the, the app for these is absolutely horrific. It doesn't, it, it, it's, it's just terrible. So Solar Assistant has been fantastic. Um, I highly recommend that. I went ahead and bought the Orange Pie. Um, maybe at some point I'll do a review on that or kind of a walkthrough but it's been great. Um, so let me talk real quick while we're waiting. So these guys, we have a crazy heavy um, well pump. And I say heavy. It's the thing. Um, I'll flip back around over here. Our well pump, it's going to scare me to death. I, seriously, guys, when it's in here, when I'm in here and this thing kicks on, um, I, I've jumped every time. I've never not jumped. So, um, our well pump is five horse. And so 
it's it's strange it, it draws it has a different draw each time um i guess maybe it depends on i really don't know why i don't know why it it sometimes it can be pulling like 12,000 watts and sometimes it only seems like it's pulling like 8,000 watts but even 8,000 watts is crazy um it's a lot of power to be drawing um just to get water now we don't have to do it that often but if we are doing anything else so we've got um if you remember there's a window unit over here um and then we have three window ac units in the house and during this summer here in texas all four of those units are going nonstop, and that almost maxed out just the two that i had um if the well pump kicked on it basically takes one and a half of these units just to run the well pump but i will say that these units are incredible that high frequency inverter in there not high low frequency inverter does a killer job uh the lights hardly flicker like i honestly I, they don't flicker they when the well pump kicks in um, I can be using a chop saw, I can be running uh, running the, the clothes dryer, my wife can be, um, you know, we can have the oven going and the well pump kicks on, nothing. Um, it's, it's great. Now these things in here get crazy loud, so if you're expecting um, them to be quiet, if you need a quiet unit, I definitely would not recommend utilizing this particular uh, inverter. Um, I also did hear that, um, in it from a commenter that, um, these are now no longer, like they're discontinued. I haven't looked into that. I'm not sure about that at all. Um, that's kind of disappointing because they're great units, um, aside from the, the app. The app's terrible. So anyway, um, these should have already, well, this should kick on any moment. Um, but Nonetheless, let's see if we can get it. I'll get out of the frame and see if you can hear it kick on. I'll, I'll probably edit out a little of this dead space. Oh, good Lord. Jeez. That's it. And then they're going to start reeling up. Gosh, that's terrifying every time. I'm going to show you. I can pull up a multimeter. And go over DC. Clamp on right here. See, it kind of hits 50 amps and then backs off and settles out right at 50 amps. This one here, right at 50 amps. So, I've got 100 amps going in here. Um, I could do it a little bit slower and I've, I've really contemplated and for a while there I had it slowed down. Um, but then I ramped it back up because like there's no reason to push the batteries any harder than they need to be pushed the only thing is you know when we go through bad weather and I start charging my batteries I don't want to be you know 3am and um, you know power goes out and I've only got you know 10% battery life placed in there because I'm just slow trickling it in or whatever it would be so anyhow um i've got it going so that it takes about four hours i think to to fully charge everything maybe six i can't remember 
Um, but it, it goes in there pretty quick. And um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. All right, see you guys on the next video.